How are you all doing again? I'm back. And this time I'm singing a song for somebody else. He's a bit well known in some circles, this man. And I don't know if he'd want to be embarrassed with the likes of me giving out his name now. But um, we'll just, we'll call him Chris, right? He did something that struck a chord with me, like, you know. He uh, talked about somebody very, very dear to me. And this is all about uh, country music. And my favourite country and western singer is Hank Williams. My uncle is singing for 40 years, and they used to call him the Drifting Cowboy, because he used to sing nothing, only Hank Williams. And... Uh, Hank is a big part, he's almost like part of the family, really. Where are we now? I just want to put context on, on, on something that I'm doing, because I'm going to be writing, I'm going to be, I'll be writing songs, but I'll also be uh, dedicating songs to people that I know. I, the hero goes. I wrote this three years ago and still stands. When Hank sang, sang, I'm so lonesome I could cry. He didn't gloss it over by saying, Hey, I could call that chick who came here over over the pizza place. <laughs> Hank stuck to the reality of that awful moment of devastation and loneliness. That's real. Always use yourself as an example. Now, isn't he a master now? He is now. And... Um, and this is what he wrote three years ago. I ain't about to tell young artists who are making millions writing and singing what you call country music. But that's not me, anyway. I can tell you that right now. Uh, but I'd advise you to get some balls and tune up into a world that is in a state of disrepair and badly needs some wise, encouraging words from you so-called country singers instead of the mindless garbage you people are singing about. Let's hear about how your lousy relationships, your divorce, divorce a leading, your fears, joys, Luke, your temptations, your indiscretions. That's who we are, flawed and crazy. Country music is about the truth. And if you say it's not, it's not your, it's not your either stupid or a liar or both. To be able to use a genre of music as a platform to help ease and solve world problems is a blessing. That's how powerful music can be. Country and folk music have always fit that bill since the beginning. To desecrate that privilege which the old stars forged in blood so young artists would have an easier path equivalent to receiving a sacred gift and pooping it. And those very profound words though. This is going to be a long video, but that's Chris, that's my friend there now, Chris. I won't, I won't give away any second is, but he wrote that, he knows who he is. And if you find him, you ask me politely, I'll tell you which Chris it is. But uh, he can tell you himself if he wants. But that's him. Did you ever hear that song? Oh, such are the dreams of the everyday housewife. You see everywhere, any time of the day. An everyday housewife who gave up a good life for me. Who wrote that? Chris wrote that. No, oh, and he wrote some great ones himself. But I'm, he's very proficient at the guitar. Like, I'm a, I'm a toddler compared to him. But anyway... He'd go on about I'm so lonesome I could cry. So, this one's for you, Chris. You hear that long somewhere for will. He sounds too blue to fly. The man that train is winding low I'm so lonesome I could cry you ever see a robin weave 
when leaves began to die. That means he's lost the will to live. I'm so lonesome I could cry. The silence of a falling star Lights up a purple sky And as I wonder where you are I'm so lonesome There you go. On to the next.